guys. Still fat. Trying to work on it. I've been getting better. Um, I'm uh, <coughs> actually a lot better at like um, only keeping down my binging and purging to like one day instead of like um, doing it all day every day or like several times a week even. So it's usually like like, um, one to three times a week now, which is a significant improvement. Um, I kind of wanted to talk about, uh, media representations. Again, I know that I've touched on this subject before, but, um, <coughs> talk shows about eating disorders, like, the hypocrisy really fucking pisses me off. Um, I feel like... Okay, everybody is, like, on Eugenia Cooney's ass about being an influencer. But, I mean, like, she's certainly not as explicit as I am. She's not even explicit as, like, most recovery channels or something are. Um, she, uh, she never even mentions it or brings it up or anything. She just shows her body, and then everybody's pissed off at her for existing and for having the body that she does. And, I mean, like, her videos are completely unwatchable. Like, I'm sorry, Eugenia, you're sweetheart, and I love you, but, um, <clears throat> like, she does nothing. But, um, everybody needs to leave her the fuck alone because she's never hurt a single person, and, like, as far as I can tell, she has hurt nobody. She has done nothing. She has not done a goddamn thing to anybody. But everybody treats her like shit and shits on her, or whatever, because of the way she looks, because of, her, because she just exists. And her existence makes people uncomfortable. And we have these uh, talk shows who exploit, like, I mean, this isn't a person putting themselves or uh, putting, like, they put themselves on the show, but, I mean, they don't exploit themselves the way that, like, Dr. Phil or uh, Oprah or whatever exploits them. And uh, they put them on camera, and then they say shit like, eating disorders are a mental disorder of choice. That's, like, verbatim a direct quote from Dr. Phil. And even the documentaries and stuff, they're lacking. They don't go into our world. They go into the health aspect. And the health aspect, that's... Like, even Louis Thoreau can't do this right. Like, fucking Louis Thoreau. He is, like, a fucking amazing documentarian. Or whatever the fuck... The journalist? I don't fucking know what you call them. Um, somebody who makes documentaries. Whatever. I mean, he is phenomenal at it, but he sucked at the eating disorder one. And it's just because they all go into the same shit. They go into, like what you see in somebody's life after they've been dealing with it for fucking years. And, you know, they want to blame, um, like, TV and stuff, but, like, I don't turn to, like, models. I don't turn, like, whenever I'm trying to, like, get my ED material, I go to those talk shows. I, uh, find those segments of Dr. Phil and, you know, all those shows do are tell me, like, I'm not sick enough. I'm not eating disordered enough. I'm certainly not interesting enough to be, like, a subject of a talk show or anything because I'm not that sick. And it's giving everybody else, like, a very poor understanding of disorders. Like, nobody takes me seriously. Doctors have not taken me seriously. My friends, my husband, nobody, uh, like, seriously, like, I could tattoo it to my forehead and walk around and everybody would just think I was an attention whore because, you know, not that I'm not, but, I mean, um, everybody would get the wrong impression because, like, I look very healthy and I'm not sickly. And... Um, I, I just think that there's something fucked up about that because that's not how we treat depression. That's not how we treat bipolar disorder. Um, maybe to an extent we kind of treat drug addicts like that. Like if they're not like the intervention worst case scenario, then people just think they that you like to party or something. But um, whenever it comes to eating disorders... It's like, you know, they wouldn't tell a drug addict, like, you're faking it. Like, who the fuck tra fakes a drug addiction, you know? But, um, I think it's something that people accuse people of eating disorders so much that it's almost a part of the disorder itself to believe that you don't really have it. Like, I tell myself all the time, every day, several times a day, that, <clears throat> it's all, that um, I'm making this all up. 
I am being dramatic. I don't really have a problem. I, um, that I'm making this up or that <clears throat> none of it's real. And I, I don't know. I think I'll be like 70 or 80 before <laughs> anything actually happens to my health. And I mean, like, I'm never really concerned. And it's not that I'm concerned about my health at all. It's more that. I've, like, either way, like, if I'm really, 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 if I get really fucking sick, or if I stay really fucking healthy, that doesn't really phase me, but I do want the validation, and, um, I think a lot of that comes from these PSA, very special after school episode, or whatever, after school special, or whatever they're called, or, um, the Dr. Phil talk show segments, and stuff that only wants to exploit the worst case that they've ever seen. And I understand that there are like millions upon millions upon millions of these cases. And that most of them aren't really as interesting as the worst case scenario. But, um... I, I don't know. Um... And this show's like treating this like a teenage problem or phase that you're going to get over. There's... I think that this is, like, much more, I feel like eating disorders are even more, like, secretive than drug addiction, and they certainly, there's, like, a lot more shame and stigma, <clears throat> and then I think there is with, uh, a lot of mental disorders just because of that, um, attention whoring aspect, um, I think the only one worse is probably cutting, and I think, uh, you know, that's that's something kind of interwoven with eating disorders as well. Like a lot of us like a lot of us just do and a lot of us have other addictions. Um a lot of us have other mental problems. Um but I mean like you can exist on a spectrum of anything. Like every it's not just autism that exists on a spectrum. Everything does. And I mean you could be a very high functioning eating disordered person that, like, whenever, there have been times in my life where it was like I could just turn it on and off. There were times in my life when I could just eat normally. I don't really remember what that's like. Mostly because, like, whenever I say eating normally, it's like I would binge and not care. But, um, I, I don't know. I just, I don't really agree with the way that were portrayed. I don't really agree with the way any kind of mental disorders are portrayed because, like, it's kind of perpetuating this, like, you've got to pull yourself up by your bootstraps, you know? You wouldn't tell that to a cancer patient. You wouldn't tell that to somebody who just, like, got their arm cut off or something to just fix it yourself. Because I couldn't, like, you get it, and then it's never gone. It's, like, as soon as it's there, it's there. It's inside you. It's grabbed you. And you can't really shake it. And I don't... <clears throat> I think you can make it better. Or you can, like, make the symptoms of it and stuff, like, lessen. But it's not out. Like, I think it'll find new ways to morph, new ways to express itself. But, um... I, it just kind of disgusts me how uh, recovery places and talk shows or whatever think that showing us the, um... material that they're, like, condemning us for. Like, they're saying that it's horrible that we have thinspo. It's horrible that we're not all bot pods. It's horrible that we tell other people how to make themselves sick. But then they show this girl, it's like, look at all the awful ways this girl makes herself sick. Look at her thin. Like, here's a zoom-up on all of her collarbones. Here's a zoom-up of her ribcage. Oh, did you get her, her shoulder bones? Did you get this and this and this in camera and like they do all the same things that they chastise us for but it's okay because they're talking about how sick she is and they're trying to help that uh, the person that they're exploiting and uh, it's, it's no fucking different like it's just they're using different words than we are but they're still giving us thinspo. They're still telling us how she makes herself sick or whatever. Like all these stupid recovery sites or whatever that are like, go talk to your friends. Your friends don't give a shit. Your friends are going to fucking talk to you about this. They're going to tell you not to burden them. Like that is most likely what's going to happen. They're just going to say like, we don't want to hear it. And, uh, you're, 
you know, people with eating disorders, they don't have the best family that they can go talk to. They're not in the best situation. They can't really go to anybody else. And we're just silenced constantly. And then they just want to tell us how horrible we are for finding each other and talking to other people who understand. And they want to censor and ban us. And it's bullshit. It's all bullshit. Um. Anyway, um. I guess I'm going to end. That's all I want to say about that. Um. I'm sorry if I sound like I'm just repeating myself. And, uh. There are just things that I get kind of irritated with. And then I just, like, turn on my camera and vent about it. Because, like, who the fuck else am I going to talk to? <laughs> um. Anyway. I hope y'all have a good day. Bye.